Jesus said, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Which means, there are Jacobs. But before they will enter into the purpose of God, before they will become the prince in the purpose of God, before they will become Israel, a night must finish. That you have been a sinner is not the problem. It is sinners like you and myself that God has included in the matter of grace. But you will not enter into your inheritance as a sinner. You will enter into your inheritance as a sinner saved by grace. Night activity has to end here. What did I say? Night activities has to do what? And when? Tonight. Thank you, Father. Can you imagine? As soon as the day is about to break, God was about to leave him finally. He said, Let me go. Let me go. Before, because the day now breaks. But before he will go, he did something. What did he do? He put his thigh out of joint. He broke him. He broke his strong will. He broke his self will. He broke his stubbornness. He broke all that is making him to struggle. His two legs that he used to stand and said, No, I will not give in. No way, no way. God scattered his leg. And I see him saying, I surrender. Oh, what can he do? What can he not do now that the leg is out of joint? He now began to beg, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And that was the beginning of his day. 20 years in the night. It was ending that night. And the Bible said, Wherefore, Jacob called the name of the place Peniel. I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And he passed over Penuel. And what happened as he was passing over Penuel, the sun rose upon him. We will be talking about sunrise with the breaking of the day. We'll be dealing with that, but that's not our business tonight. We only really want to know that the sun rose upon him and he altered on his thigh. When they say he altered, it was in the New Testament, Hebrews chapter 11, that the Bible said, by faith, Jacob blessed the sons of Joseph and he worshipped doing what? Leading upon the star. He's now a surrendered man. Can I tell you the last thing? Once God conquered him, once his struggle with God finished, it was a miracle. It was a surprising miracle if you are reading your Bible. Because the next chapter 33, as he lifted up his eyes, he saw Esau coming with 400 men. So he divided children unto Leah, unto Rachel, unto the two, and he put the handmaids and their children foremost and Leah and all of that. And what did he do now? He passed over before them. The strong man of yesterday has become broken. No gift this time. No bribe this time. <laughs> he only came. And what did he do? He bowed himself unto Esau. And I was surprised. 
20 year quarrel. How did he end? He ended in five minutes because the mother quarrel has been settled. What is the mother quarrel? Quarrel with God, quarrel with Jesus Christ. And do you know that any man that is committing sin? He is in assault against the Lord. Anybody that is covering sin, he is an enemy of God. Anybody who is living for the flesh, he is directly against God. And that's why your night prolongs. And he passed over before them. He bowed himself to the ground seven times. Until he came to his brother. And he saw ran to meet him. And embraced him. And fell on his neck. And kissed him. And they wept. And he lifted his eyes. And saw the women and the children. He said, who are those with you? He said, the children with God had graciously given your servant. What a wonderful reconciliation. He thought he was going to fight. There was no more fight. Do you know that all your fights will finish tonight? When your wrestling with God has finished. When the day breaks, every night activity must finish. Hallelujah. Nights. Nights. Those who walk in the night, they stumble. Night is for wrestling with the flesh. When a man is in the night, God wrestles with our disobedience. God wrestles with your ambition. God wrestles with your self-will. God wrestles with our issues. But the moment God prevails over your flesh, over your disobedience, over your ambition, over your self-will, and over the issues with which you have been holding back and hiding from the light of the word of God, all your issues, they will make peace with you. All those who say you will not go anywhere, they are actually going to escort you onto your destiny. When the night, when a man is walking in his night, those are the nights of temptation. There was one other man that went out from the presence of God. And the Bible said, and it was night. Who was that? Judas Iscariot. That night, I wonder why it was always night. He went out that night and the day never broke for him again. I am trusting God that there will be no Judas in this meeting. Because the day is about to break. The day breaks. Do you know that that night that Judas Iscariot left the Lord Jesus, that was the final night for the devil's power to be broken. That was the final night when Jesus Christ was going to finish the war against the flesh. That was the night when Jesus Christ was going to deal with sin and finish his power. That night, he was going to drink the cup for our deliverance. So that as the day breaks, we become men of the kingdom. Women of the kingdom. Risen together with him. Unfortunately, Judas went out that night. And he is permanently of the night. There is no Judas in this meeting, I believe. Or is it a costly assumption? That tonight God is saying, I came to end your night activities. I have come to end it because the day now breaks. 
I want you out of that struggle. I want you to come into surrender. I want you to come under my light. I want you to come under my canopy. I want you to come under my grace. I want you to come into my glory. The day breaks. I would like to conclude now. I would like to call on God now. Please mark the way this meeting is starting. Maybe some people may arrive tomorrow and God who wanted to include them might create a little space for their own lives but they won't be the matter anymore when you read this I want you to read it when you get back one of the last comments we made there I said I honestly urge you to make the most of these days the meaty promises to be meaty while those who need meek will find their portion the day has broken upon us and that day demands that we face our task as men do not procrastinate with any decision or action you must take act and just obey while he tells you to do now as we call on God tonight this meeting is starting on this very critical note and I hear the Lord say the day now breaks you have come to MLR many years and you still went on wrestling the day now breaks we won't wrestle with you again. Your night activities has to end. Husbands that are doing things in the night that their wives have not known about and when she's about to discover it, you quickly tongue in the tongue. Carabo, sombo, bobo, This machine gun tongue that you are speaking is a night tongue. That night activity must end when? Tonight. That secret dealing you are having. Even sometime with, 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 with disciples, sometime with church members, it must end tonight. Except you have elected to be permanently of the night and those who want to be of the night they will have to excuse us the day has broken every secret work of darkness must finish Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2 says arise and shine for your light has come the glory of the Lord has risen upon you we will pray now can I pray with you now you will see I will want to stand here tonight watching God removing your tie out of joints I will be watching God putting a permanent conclusion to your struggle with his will. I will stand here seeing the Holy Ghost doing something that we could not have done over 20 years. You know I've preached to you for a long time. But the matter that is going to happen tonight is not about preaching. God himself is coming. He's going to take your tie out of your joints that permanently so that you can be part of the day that is breaking you will no longer struggle with God you no longer struggle with lust you no longer struggle with fornication you no longer struggle with telling lies you no longer struggle with anger you no longer struggle with ambition you no longer struggle with the activity of the flesh 
that is in the night the day breaks every activity of the night must stop you may appear to be a great preacher let me tell you the day breaks hypocrisy can no longer be tolerated you are swindling church money you are deceiving brothers but you come and give a big testimony the day breaks such activity can no longer be carried on and God in mercy who said but your name has been put among those that I want to carry into my day let's end it tonight may the Lord give you strength to do so may the Holy Spirit not allow you to sleep out of this meeting because sleeping out of this meeting is getting into a permanent night stand up let's pray together Holy Ghost do it again do your work again in our lives today Open my eyes to see Jesus who is seated upon the throne. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, do your work again. Do your work again in our hearts tonight. Oh, open our eyes. To see Jesus who is seated upon the throne. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, do it for us. Do it. Shikarabas. Mama Marabasambarabas. Night activities must conclude tonight. Works of darkness must end tonight. Jacobian life must come to an end tonight. Bring your hand, O oh God. Dismantle the tie of wickedness. Dismantle the muscle of wickedness. Break the tie of disobedience. Break the tie of misbehavior. Break the tie of compromise. Break the tie of liars. Tonight, do it. Do it. Now, it's okay. It's okay. The Spirit of God is walking here. Hitting you below the belt. Say, how long will you wrestle with me? How long will you cleverly tell lies? How long will you be doing things in darkness? The day now breaks. Holy Spirit, because you have included this brother, this sister, this young man, in those who come for this night this daybreak when eternal things will start taking place in our land in our nation when our ministries will break forth from his struggles and enter into his glory and some of them have company over years but they have not entered do your work tonight like Jacob cried I will not let you go unless you bless me Father I stand in your presence tonight waiting to see your miraculous work waiting to see how you will knock off the muscles of sin the muscles of compromise the strength of disobedience how you will put it off now how everything that makes a man to struggle with you for five years, for ten years, for three years, 
to hear the word of God and not to act on it it looked to me as if it was impossible for Jacob to change until you did that work to him some people say I want to change but I don't know why I could not change I want to stop telling lies, but I cannot tell I cannot stop what it is that you took away from Jacob that turned him permanently to become an Israel do it tonight walk in this meeting tonight Lord I plead with you that this night we actually conclude all night activities in the name of Jesus Christ now where are you where are the Jacobs in this meeting the reason why this opportunity is here is because God is not only the God of the obedient, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. God is also the God of Jacob. But before he became their God, he broke their tie. He ended their relationship with sin. I don't have plenty of time tonight and this is one of the final nights that God will be laboring to do this kind of thing. From tomorrow, we'll be dealing with the activities of the day. And if you are still in your night, the message will be passing over your head. Are you in this meeting and there's something that has to end tonight? Secret immorality must end tonight. Stealing, telling lies. Living a dubious life. Pretending to be a Christian but a liar standing in the midst of God's people but with a, 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 a deflated character you have struggled with surrender some of you it was a, a bad a bad relationship you started having with your junior sister instead of opening up and saying God deliver me you went about using perfume to cover up this night every night activities are to end wherever you are find your space at the altar and say god knock me down knock me down take my tie out of his joint tonight and deliver me finally we're praying open my eyes to see jesus who is seated upon the throne holy ghost as the word of god is coming yes yes please yes yes now mark find a space at the altar find a space find a space for yourself judas had every opportunity but he decided to go out in the night he decided to be permanently of the night remember that peter who became a great man he denied jesus several times but god had mercy on him because that night concluded something for him but for you how will you struggle with god again look at the number of years you have struggled night activities must end tonight where are you come down come down are you in the gallery run down quickly before I begin to pray, run down quickly and say, Father, every activity that I could not show, I could not talk about publicly, I could not explain, my mother